Guys, welcome to the Merry Boozers RC channel. Today we have the brand new E-Flight SU-30 twin 70 millimeter EDF. Um, absolutely gorgeous seeing it up close. It's a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be too. Um, you do have the magnetic nose cone and something that we've done a little different on here, Kevin figured this out. He did a magnetic tail and Lori's cutting that piece in for you right now to where you don't have to worry about knocking that tail off whenever you're transporting it. Um, we're going to be flying it today on a RC Jetworks 6000 milliamp. We've got that shot cut in for you now so you can see where we placed it for our maiden flight. Um, all together, I mean, it is just a beautiful plane. Um, you've got full flying stabs. Uh, we'll cut in a shot now of the gear going up and down. Um, it's, it's just a gorgeous plane. They've got the little cover that covers that nose wheel just like the real thing. Um, I'm excited for it. So, a little windy today. We've got about 10 mile an hour gusting from left to right, and it's going down the runway. It doesn't have a mind of its own. So, we're going to try it anyway, though. And Good pilots don't care. That's right. Hopefully, it goes good. Us, us, us ungood pilots, <laughs> we're going to sit on our butts over here and watch you fly. Well, without further ado, <laughs> let's get the maiden done on this thing. All right, <laughs> All right guys, here we are out at the runway. We're going to taxi the SU 30 out now, let Lori spin around. And here it goes. Everybody says this is a sweet jet, though. Yeah, I have nothing but great comments I mean, I, from most people. I've already, the, the weight impresses me so far. I mean, it's got a lot of good weight to it. And we're going to test it out with this. Because we got about a 10 mile an hour wind right now. So it here we go. Down the runway. Oh, it jumped off the ground. Here coming up, I'm about half throttle now. Get, get used to yours. I've got it in full everything, uh, high rate, ailerons, and elevator. It feels good to me right now. Looks. I don't have any uh, expo in this plane, you and know, it feels good. You know, once you said on another airplane that, that it Oh feels, man, it's feel good. I mean, there's hands off. It's going up just a little bit, but I'm okay with that. But you once said that it feels heavy. Does this one feel heavy? Oh, no. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't feel, heavy. feel heavy. I think that you made that comment on that. It's got so much wing area on this plane. Well, it looks so I'm going to come by and start slowing it down now. I've kind of got it used to it. Let's see. Just kind of maiden flight still, but I'm going to start transitioning it. Look at it slow down right now. All yellow has it wings on the bird on the bottom. To me, it looks like it flies. I like heavy. it. I like it a lot. Yeah, exactly. But now you hadn't went only about it half throttle, right? right? You know, scale full throttle downwind. You know, it's not the fastest jet out there, and I'm kind of being a little leery with it right now. Where the maiden flight, uh, it's very windy right now, so I'm kind of just taking it easy on it. But it handles the it wind. It handles really the wind well. really well. That's flying right straight in a 10 mile an hour breeze. Stable. I like it. I mean, plenty of power to pull out of it like that. Seems to be handling the breeze most. Very predictable. That's power off right now, just slowing down. Definitely nose heavy right now, though. That's okay. If made in flight, we would rather be nose heavy than tail heavy. Let's see. Let's pop the air brake out on this one. Man, I like it a lot. Like I said, not being too crazy with it yet, guys. Just getting used to the plane. Uh, Take a little speed. Yeah, I had to pull and, over the top. And what does this jet come in at as far as yeah. price wise? Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. I want to say it's around 500. So normal jet cost for a large plane. Large, not excessive, but it's up there. 
All right, let's shoot an approach on this next one. Gear coming out. But if it flies as good as it look it, it does, then it's worth I'm not going to use the, the speed brake for the landing just because it's so windy right now. I don't think I'm going to need it. I'm going to come power out here as we're coming in. Start adding my throttle back in. It is gusty right now. All right, well, that was a good first attempt. It's gusty right now, and I wanted to do this while I had some power in. Always leave a little in the tank, guys, What's so you can go around. Tank? 24 seconds. All right, yeah. Wesley, as windy as it is right now, maiden flight, I'd rather come in a little early. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. There you oh, go. Yeah. Oh, it come off oh, the ground. Look at, look at, look at. <laughs> it's the, the, the wind just keeps <laughs> gusting right now. <laughs> Pick back up. I thought it was going to hit the first time, but it decided It just nope, wants to keep flying. I don't think I want to. I like it a lot though. On an on a calm day, this plane's going to be awesome. Yeah. Wow, that's that's sweet. It's really quiet. Though. It's very quiet. For having two EDFs, yeah. it's very quiet. All right, guys, we'll see y'all back over there for our final thoughts. All right, guys, maiden flight is in the books. Plane flew absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to try this on a little bit less windy day. Um, we'll definitely get it out again and film it for you. Um, Papa's checking the cell voltage right now. That was right at three minutes and thirty seconds. And and we're we're across the board about 382. So we could have gone a little bit longer if we needed to, but uh, I'd say the three minute and 30 of useful throttle time is a good place to start at um, for your maiden flight if you're on a 6,000. Now if you go on a five, I, I might move that down to about three minutes. So now you want to talk about where we have the uh, um, the 6,000 we showed you earlier where we had put it. I am going to push the 6,000 back a little bit. I'm going to be about an inch off of that back firewall for my proper CG on this airplane. There's nothing wrong with where we had the CG, but I like to high alpha a lot more. And if you want to get into a high alpha maneuver, you're going to want to push that battery back. Um, now, that being said, on your maiden, <laughs> they're having some good times back there. On your maiden flight, I would go on and go on the air of nose heavy. Um, it's going to make the plane a little more predictable on landing. And Whereas your throws? Throws, I liked it right at 100%. One thing I might do a little different is when I'm landing, cut it down to uh, uh, like a 90 to an 80% throw. You saw how the plane kind of ballooned in the wind there. Um, that was just me breathing on the thing a little too heavy and uh, the elevator and it just kind of ballooned in the wind. And it wasn't really a bad thing. It's just, you know, keep flying it. Um, remember to keep some power in when you're landing, guys, especially on a windy day like today. And uh, you'll be all right. Yeah, I, I love the plane. I think it's fantastic. Right. The paint job on it is great. Uh, the size of it. I um, commented to Wesley. It reminds me of the an F-18. Yeah, yeah, the way it flies and the way it kind of yeah. looks in the air. Um, I like that they did all the molded rivets on it right out of the box. I mean, I, I've really been impressed with the plane. It looks good. So, anyway, guys, as always, like and subscribe. Uh, check out the Boozer Merch Store. Bleh, Boozer Merch Store. And <laughs> come by on Sunday nights at 8 p.m. for our live shows. And we'll see, see you, you later. Fly with your buddies, guys. Look how good a time they're having. Bye.